everybody, Karen Rao Carter here. My friend's renovating, so I thought I'd come over and check out and make sure she's uh, got her feng shui in order. And uh, let's see if I can get some better light here. Oh, such a mess. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd let you know that, you know, while you're renovating or before you're renovating, while there's still time, you know, in the design process, it's a great time to figure out all your feng shui things as well as your healthy home things, the bow biology principles, what I consider contemporary feng shui. Radon, off gassing, VOCs, um, vapor emissions, you know, maybe you need to seal your slab, mold testing, all these things make a huge impact on you um, when the whole project is said and done. And also checking the material safety data sheets of some of the products that you're bringing into your house, making sure they're healthy and not going to be, um, you know, having a problem with your air quality later on, for example. I like to use this book. It's called Homes That Heal by Athena Thompson. And I think it's a great read for somebody who's thinking about wanting to build a healthier home. And um, this is actually one of the books in my um, certification training. So if you want to become a certified feng shui consultant, you're going to have to learn some of the healthy home aspects if you're going to graduate from my training as well. So the bow biology aspects. Um, so feel free to grab this book, read, and then you'll be one, one book ahead of, ahead of time if you want to, uh, want to get certified later on. But anyway, I wanted to give you some tips about uh, what to do while you're renovating. You know, absolutely get your Helpful People box up and running. Get all the names of the contractors and the bank or whoever, the de designers, whoever's involved in the process. And make sure that they are uh, working for you. You can even put it on the front right hand part of your desk if, if for example, this is the Helpful People area of my client's house and you don't want to stick a metal box in the middle of a construction zone. So you could use the helpful people area of your desk or another room. Um, make sure you have another safe room to go to that's not going to be covered with dust every single day that you come home to if you are indeed going to be staying here and living during the renovation. My friend, they ha we've uh, put up some plastic walls to separate the uh, kitchen here from all the rest of the, the house because um, you know, doing our best because this is the room that she's uh, tearing into now. So, um, you know, be as safe as you can and definitely look up all the healthy home things. And um, I would suggest meditate uh, if you can't move out during construction. You know, I'm getting ready to do a little renovating myself in the new year. And so I'm sure I'll be posting lots of interesting stuff about that. And I will probably be staying there for at least a part of it. And so you'll be seeing me going, ah, you know, cause it's very overwhelming. It's very discombobulating. And, um, you know, of course I've packed my travel schedule tightly during that time. So I'm not, uh, not around anyway. So, uh, good luck with your renovation, your rebuild, your redesign, your redo, and, um, hope it's a safe one. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.